Hey, first graders, you have learned quite a few things about maps. Now, can you use a map? I am going to show you again the treasure map that we just saw in our story. And you are going to give somebody directions on how to get to the chest of gold. We're going to do this in a paragraph like we've practiced our paragraphs before. So you're still going to start with let me tell you about. And then you can finish that with let me tell you how to get the chest to the chest of gold. Let me tell you how to use this map. Okay, you could come up with your own introduction that is going to go along with what it is that we are talking about, which is using a map or getting the chest of gold. Then you can use the order. First, tell them where they need to go. Next, where should they go? Then, and finally, hopefully you'll be able to say, finally, you will be at the chest of gold. Okay, so let's look at um, the image. So here we have our treasure island. Notice where the boat is, okay? So we're starting with the boat um, down here. And let's see if I can, okay? So we're starting with the boat here. And notice which direction the boat is planning on going. Okay, so it's following this path. And there's our ending spot right there. Okay, I also added to this a little compass rose, um, which tells you which direction is north, south, east, and west. And you can pause this video um, to be able to look at the map um, as you're giving your directions in your paragraph. Okay, make sure you write a complete paragraph. Um, we need to make sure that our sentences are five star sentences. So they need to all start with capitals, end with periods, spaces between your words, and make sure that you have all the words you need there to make it make sense, okay? It's always good practice when you are writing that every time you finish a sentence, read it back to yourself before going to the next sentence. That way you can double check and make sure you have all the words you need. And if you're missing a word, it's a lot easier to fix it when you're still in that sentence than it is when you get to the end and you have written several sentences. So remember, think through your sentence. You can count out how many words you're going to need. You can draw a line to show a space for each of those words and, and then go back and fill in the sounds as you hear them, okay? It's okay if it's not all spelled correctly. We just want you to try your best and um, create a fun paragraph to explain how to get to the chest of gold. Ready? I'm going to go back to it so that you can pause and we'll be ready to go. Julie Goldman, please come to the front office. 